Hi everybody, well here we are back again at our little test site here going over Dynamic Website Builder on a Genesis Framework and um, what we're going to do now is something that's kind of tripping up uh, at first and uh, some other people there too that I've seen on the forum and that is getting and using the menu up in the uh, header right area up here as opposed to having a menu bar so let's go and set that up. There's uh, one little item <laughs> you're going to need. But anyways, first thing, go over to Appearance, Widgets. And here is the header right area. And uh, into that, we're going to need to drop a custom menu. And seeing as we only have one menu, there it is. And save. Our main menu. Let's go took a look. Refresh. Ah, there it is. Well, a couple things we notice. One, there's no uh, little chevrons to indicate that there's a sub-menu. And also, this menu is still here. Uh, which is not really what we want. So, let's go back and... Um, which one do you think we should do first? Well, first of all, let's go get rid of the other one. And that will be over in Dynamic Design. And you think it might be somewhere uh, in the header, or maybe not, in the nav menu, somewhere to turn it off. Oh, me. Oh, no. Mm, don't see anywhere there. Oh, nav placement below header, above header. Oh, no, that's not it. Hmm. Well, actually, here it is. It's in responsive, believe it or not. So click on there, show hide options, and still the option is not visible until you select one of the items from the nav bar media query styles. And we're going to go vertical toggle for now, which brings up this. Item. Are you using a header menu? Why, yes, we are. And do you want to use a primary menu as a mobile version? Well, certainly. Save that. Now let's go and see. Refresh. Oh, look at that. Gone. And here it is. Still no thing, but we're going to fix that right now. Now, who would have thought to look there? But, hey, that's where it is. So now, this is the header nav. So this is where we're going to style that. And if we go back down to the bottom, we'll see a sub-indicator for that as text. Save changes. Have a look. Reload. And there it is. But that's looking pretty boring. So we're going to do two things uh, before the end here. And that's going to be to set the point size up or the font size to something a little more readable for an old fellow like me. We're going to save that. And then to make things a little more visible, we're going to go over to the header. And to the uh, header background, which is set to color as opposed to a transparent background or uh, a color selection of image uh, items but right now we're just going to add a color one of my favorite little colors that I know Oop, too many maybe I thought I knew it that's it save changes now let's go take a look refresh ah uh, that's coming along there's our chevron sample page and it's starting to look more like it. So let's leave it there for now. And uh, hope to see you for the next one. All right, cool.